case. Okay. Now there will be um, two demonstrations. The first one will show you heavy rainfall and a low tide condition in the sea. And then the second one will show you heavy rainfall and then a high tidal condition of the sea. Okay, so exaggerated with thunder and lightning, there will be rain. Okay, but of course in real life when it rains, it will rain everywhere else. Okay, this is just to exaggerate the water buildup within the reservoir. Okay? Now, as it rains, the water in the reservoir will increase. Okay, as it increases, the low-lying areas are free. This is like Chinatown, Jalan Besar, and Geylang, they will be flooded with water. Okay, we don't want that to happen, so we have to remove the excess water out. Okay, in this case, the sea level is low, so we will have to use the 9 press gate. Okay? Now, these 9 press gates will open one by one for demonstration purposes. Okay, however, in real life, it depends how many gates you open. Sometimes you open one, sometimes you open more, depending on the severity of the rainfall and also the tidal conditions of the sea. Okay? Now, for the safety of the um, people having water activities within the reservoir, there will be a public announcement in four languages, again, okay, English, Malay, Mandarin, and Tamil, to warn people who are in the water to either stay upstream or get out of the water, or else they'll be get flushed out and uh, let down in the danger. Okay. Okay. Now, um, it will take quite a bit for the gates to open. Okay. If you're wondering, why don't we just have the gates? instead of having the gates and the pump. Okay? This is because the gates will not be able to activate when the sea level is of high tide. Okay? So why not we make do without the, the gates? Why don't we just have the pump instead? Okay? This is because the pumps are quite powerful. Okay? It's so powerful the energy consumption is also very high. Okay? As compared to the gates, okay, you can just bring your attention to the wall on your left. Okay? If I can just bring your attention to the wall here, this is the side profile of one gate. Okay, my little point is not working, so I'll go over to the other side. Okay, of course, this um, this cross section of the gate is not uh, to scale. Okay, notice that now it is um, angled at a 70 degree angle. Okay, this straight side here is touching the reservoir. So as it needs to be open, a little bit of energy is to required to quickly slightly open the weight of the water in the reservoir here will push it downwards using gravity so using less energy to work okay and the other side here the curved side this is buoyant so as the sea level rises it will help to close the gates back up to its original position using less energy so in other words the gate is more energy efficient as compared to the pumps okay so you can just bring your attention back to the uh, model Okay, soon the, the gates will open one by one, starting with this gate over here, and all the rest will open. Okay, of course, maintenance is essential. Okay, earlier you saw that there were cranes at the bridge. Okay, the cranes were actually removing um, the gates from the actual bridge itself to do some maintenance on it. Okay, as the gates open in a while, Okay, you also find it uh, easy to understand why do we just open the gate when the sea level is high because then the sea level will enter the reservoir and contaminate it which is not something that we want. Okay, ideally, we would love to keep all this water in but we have no choice. You can remember our constraints about land space that okay, we simply do not have enough space to keep all this water in. Okay, the first gate is beginning to open. All the rest will open one by one. So when the rain stops, the gates will return to its default position so that sea water will not backflow into the reservoir and contaminate the water in the reservoir. Again, that will be the end of the first scenario.